Good afternoon. I'm out testing this, my 360. I've got it back again. Look at the scuffs on there. That's where it fell off. And look, sensible this time using a bloody lanyard. Mind you, that is not going to fall off there. That's rock solid. But that's what I thought about the top box as well. So anyway, it's bloody cold. The 360 already has had a bit of a fit. It put an error message on the screen. I don't know what caused that. I'm just wondering if it uh, if it's excessive vibration. Don't know. Anyway, we'll have a chat in a bit. We'll just see how we get on up this bit of the lane. I don't want to get the bike absolutely filthy today. After that last ride out, it was so dirty. And I couldn't wash it for a couple of days. Well, I didn't wash it for a couple of days. Couldn't. I couldn't be arsed the day I got back. On, uh, was that Sunday? When I did that last video? Can't remember. Anyway, I didn't wash it. off at home getting ready to come out because I've put the liners back in uh, my jacket and trousers I feel like the Michelin man now it's damp today as well oh yeah go on thank you oh that's a shit place to park isn't it you can't see anything coming around that corner Like I say, I'm just out today, just conducting a bit of a test on the 360. So I got it back from its uh, second exotic holiday in Hong Kong. Now, I, d I don't understand Insta at all, right? They are supposed to be a premium level camera. Whatever. I don't, I don't think the footage is that superb to be honest with you i think it gives you some interesting camera angles but i really don't rate it that highly and i'll tell you for why with it having the fisheye lenses on it it lets far too much light in uh, when i lost it the day that i lost it if you remember a beautiful sunny day virtually all of the footage was completely unusable that was set at zero just normal setting um, and it was just unusable because it was the, the light was just so blown out on it I used one or two little bits but if you look at it um, the, it's just so blown out the highlight so it was unusable so binned most of that even though I got really mildy about the fact that I'd lost the camera with all that beautiful footage on it it would have been beautiful had I been able to use it I'm sure so I've stepped it down a half a one today because it's quite dull. I still think that's going to be too bright, to be honest. Uh, so we're going to check it. But, right, the, the thing that I'm coming to is the fact that this is the second time I've sent my camera back. The first time when I was out with Richie and I wrecked it because uh, I got water in it. So, uh, you know, my fault again. <laughs> What a dick, I know, it's building up a picture isn't it? You're getting a clear, a clear picture of the sort of person I am. I'm, I'm, I'm really not like that, honestly. I'm, I'm not like that. I really like to think that I take care of my equipment. I've had camera, I've got camera equipment that I've had for donkey's years and I take, because I take really good care of it, you know? Um, it's just with the 360, I've just had some, well, bad luck. Uh, but also, I, I have mistreated it the first time. Uh, still, never mind. Uh, but anyway, that so that first time it went back, that cost me uh, 70 quid for a, a, a repair. But when they sent it back, 
the the name of the camera that comes up on your Bluetooth or your Wi-Fi um, was different. So it's a different camera. It was a brand new camera that they sent out. They obviously scrapped the old one off and sent me this one because it's too much hassle for them to repair. But so a new camera costs 60 quid, right? I sent this one back because this one was trashed. When they sent it back, uh, that was 140 quid repair, 140 quid. So, you know, that's that's 210 quid in repairs. Uh, but they sent it back, completely different name to this camera. Those dogs are shouting at me. Are they shouting at me? Can't tell it. Yeah, one of them shouting at me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it, it's it's another completely different camera. So what I think they do when you send your camera back for repair, they don't even bother. They just bin it off and send you another camera out because the turnaround on this one was, uh, I think it took well from from when it went in. Uh, I sent it back. Uh, when did I lose it? The second. Sent it back on the fourth, and then it was back by. Uh, was it the middle of last week? Something like that. So that's before the 20th it was back. It was around about the 15th it got back to me. So that's, that's double quick time for a repair from Hong Kong. They haven't done a repair, have they? They've just sent me another new camera out. So if they're sending out new cameras, I can't prove any of this by the way, but if they are sending out new cameras, how much is the camera worth to start with? How much is their markup on this camera? You know, and you're talking about a camera that is. Duh, 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 how much was mine? 300 and. 325 I paid for mine. And that was the best price that I could get on this camera at the time. 325. So, how much money do you think they're making on each one? That's a company that can afford to just bid off old cameras and not repair them. I think. I don't know. I mean I can't I can't prove any of this obviously. But why would it have a completely different name? They're not altering the software, you know, they're all all that I asked them to do was change the front panel uh, and the lens on the front. That was all that was wrong with it. The camera worked fine. That's all they had to do. But no they sent me a new camera for 140 quid. And the other one was 60 quid. So you know I think I know what's going on. I can't prove any of it, like I say, but it just it, it does just strike me as being a bit odd. Let's go. So it's up above my head now, so what's the view like up there guys? Any good? It'd be interesting to see what the footage is like, but one thing I can't do while it's up there is to tell whether it's still recording or not. Whether it's gonna have another SD card error. I don't understand that SD card error thing either. I formatted the card at home <coughs> in the computer, overwrote, overwrote it with a seven time overwrite thing and then I put it in the camera and formatted it again to the camera. First thing I wanted to say was, um, you may have noticed already on my channel, um, there are no more mid-roll ads. Can't be bothered with them. Um, they just ruin 
they ruin your enjoyment of what you're watching you completely lose the thread of what you're watching and for what they give you know the revenue that you get it's just not worth it so for your enjoyment of my channel and those videos um, no more mid rolls you'll get the pre-roll and the post roll but you're not going to get mid roll so I hope that makes your viewing pleasure better it means that I'm going to lose out a bit but really in the whole scheme of things I just don't think they're worth it I don't think they're worth it and it, it just it's like I say it ruins the video doesn't it you know you're just getting into a groove with the video um, and it, that's what I sort of aim for to get a video that's got a flavor to it a, a feeling to it all the way through and when all of a sudden it cuts off and then some stupid dancing troupe comes on to advertise what some shit or other it, you just completely lose a thread with the video that you're watching so got rid of them um i've taken on uh so kofi do you know the buy me a coffee thing well kofi ko-fi is another one similar very similar to that um, so if you want to support the channel I'd really appreciate it you can make uh, just a one-off donation through Kofi I don't think there's any limit on how much you can put on um, so even if it's just a quid here and there cheers for that um, patreon as well any contributions would be brilliant I've got something lined up for later this year it's gonna cost me an absolute fortune to do it I, I think it would make um, for a really good series and an ongoing theme throughout my uh you know motor mobile channel the whole the whole thing the whole concept of what i do uh will not only be on uh, you know the africa twin but it will be on something else as well um so i don't want to talk too much about that because it's going to cost me a lot of money to actually do it but hopefully it'll be a boost for for motorcycling I know that people get really enthused when they watch my video and uh, I know there's one or two people out there. They've, they've actually said that they rely on my videos to get their fix for motorbiking because kids buying houses, all sorts of reasons why people can't own a motorbike at the moment. So it will be to do with sort of uh, owning motorcycles on a budget. I think you could probably guess where I'm going with this. But I'm not going to say any more about that because it's, it's just in the thought stages of it. There's someone that I want to approach to see whether they'll support me. And I know, I know damn well that you don't like, you know, when people like me sell out to bigger companies. Well, there's a reason why you do that. You know, if you want to supply good content through your channel, sometimes you've got to reach out and ask for help. Uh, this is why I constantly ask if you can support me on Patreon, if you can support me on Ko-fi. I'm only going to ask one person um, if, he, if he'll help the channel along. Uh, and then, so those videos will be sponsored by. Okay, that's if they help. And it, depending on how much I get, you know, support-wise from them. But I think it would be, I, I think it's a really good concept. Be interested to see how it turns out. Um, so I'm hoping to move on with that spring, summertime. That should be coming to your screens then. So you can see how much of an, of an investment it is in, uh, you know, having faith in the channel. And believe me, after the, after the comments that you guys left has convinced me that it is worth investing my time and cash into to develop this channel into something better, something bigger and better and more meaningful. Um, so like I say, any support, any support would be grand. It would be grand, even if it's just one off, a quid here and there. Superb, thank you. Hey guys, before I forget, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please subscribe, it makes all the difference. Please remember to like. Ting that notification bell. You know what to do.